And a live look outside here. Smooth sailing on our roadways and temperatures in the 60s. Megan Glaros is now here with the warmest day after Christmas ever in Chicago. Megan, yes. what the heck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Mother Nature's real, real confused out there because Southern California snow and we have nothing but absolutely beautiful stuff. Feels more like April than December 26. We're still at 59 degrees at Midway, 61 for Gary. It's a little bit colder here in McHenry and DeKalb and Ottawa to have dropped to the 30s. Why? Well, because they're finally starting to get the impact of that front as it starts to come on through. As we talked about the front, it's going to come through with no precipitation. Nice, what we call a dry frontal passage. So the radar picture looks good. But let's take you out to the big picture because, as Charlie was saying, there is that issue back on off to the south and west, right? Around Los Angeles, Vegas, now Arizona. All that stuff is our next weather maker. So it's going to march steadily across the country when it arrives here. We begin to see a little bit of a downhill uh, spectrum in the weather department. So we're good today. Rest of it. We're great on Friday. We do, though, see obviously the rain starting to push in on Saturday and it's rain throughout Saturday all the way into the day on Sunday. We're still dealing with showers. I start to see on the back side of this a little bit of wraparound moisture, which will be bringing in some somewhat colder air as well. So maybe a little bit of snow. I don't think we're talking much about accumulation from this, though, in the snow side of it, but there could be a pretty decent amount of rainfall coming through between Saturday and Sunday and early Monday before we start to see that little change over to that mixed precipitation as the system wraps up. In fact, could be anywhere from about a half an inch up to around three quarters of an inch. That's a pretty good guess for us uh, rainfall wise. So I wouldn't count on any wonderful, beautiful activities out there on Saturday and Sunday. Now we talked about the fact that that cold front is coming through uh, tonight, really right now. So temperatures are just going to drop. We're at 34 degrees at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then we get up only into the low 40s tomorrow. Now, Yes, that is way colder than what we had today by 20 degrees. You will notice a big difference. It's still about 10 degrees above average. So just to put it all into perspective, we were 30 degrees above the norm today. We hit 61 out there. It was record warm, but now we're dropping back down 40 degrees for tomorrow. Then we go back up with that rain in the forecast on Saturday and Sunday back down again and then right back up again, Charlie, to start 2020. So we're on quite the roller coaster ride over the next week around here. But I still like the fact that we start a brand new year off with a nice, easy, calm, fairly warm day next Wednesday. Megan, thanks so much.